I have two groups of cards, a group of black cards and a group of red cards. And there's exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine black cards. And we'll put one as the leader. And there's exactly one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine red cards. And once again, we'll put one as the leader. Now, all we have to do is switch the leaders and the rest of the cards follow. You just switch and they follow. You can put the black cards over here, and put the red cards over here. It doesn't matter because they always follow the leader. You just switch them and they follow. You can do it face up or you can do it face down. You just switch and they follow. We'll take these last four cards and we'll purposely mix them together and we'll put a red card and we'll put a black card. You just give a little nudge and they follow. You have a red, a black, you put a red, you put a black. It doesn't matter because they always follow the leader. I hope you enjoyed that. This is a great trick to learn and I'm going to show you how to do it. And remember, if you don't want to know the secrets, then watch no further because once you do know, you can't unknow. We'll give a couple seconds for those who don't want to know. Okay, here we go. There are quite a few versions of the follow the leader card trick performed by different magicians over the years. I didn't change a thing in this routine because I love it so much. But I did change the handling a little. If you're not already familiar with the moves I'm going to show you, then keep in mind that some practice will be required. These are the cards we're going to use. You can remove them from any deck. There's nine black cards and nine red cards. Remove the four tens, the four nines, the four eights, the four sevens, one of the black sixes, and one of the red sixes. The reason for using these cards is because they all need to look as similar to each other as possible, and these particular cards do the trick. Divide the cards into two groups. One group has seven black cards and two red. And the other group has seven red cards and two black. It doesn't matter what order they're in as long as it's set up like this with the two secret cards on the top. Now I'm going to show you the moves required to do this trick. I'm not going to go through the routine so much so you can go back and watch the routine, come back and learn the moves. But the first move you need to learn how to do is to count these out. And this is how you do it. You, you hold the packet in dealer's grip and I keep my pinky down here my index finger up here so these fingers actually you can move these fingers and release so you're holding holding it here and it's braced up against here as you're dealing these out you want to keep the cards angled towards your spectators eyes in this case I'm looking at the camera lens and you want to have it like that and then tilted back just a little you don't want it like this and you don't want it to where they can't see it either now you start dealing these out, you push it over like this, grab it with your thumb and your index finger and turn it over. First card goes like that. You peel the next card, you do the same thing. Now this second card goes off to the side like this. The third card goes like that. The fourth card goes right there. You want to make a square. Now when you come to the fifth card, you're going to do a bottom deal along with the seventh card. The fifth card and the seventh card are bottom deals. When you're holding your hand here, keep a slight gap. Remember I was showing you before. When you put this finger back, make sure there's enough gap that this finger can slide in between this finger and this finger. So make sure you have a gap right there. So when you push off this fifth card, and by the way, make sure you try to keep your index finger there at all times. When you come to grab that fifth card, this finger is going to grab that bottom card. And as you do, you're going to do a movement where you pull back like this. So see how the, this card is out? You're going to pull it back. And at the same time, you're going to yank that bottom card out. So it's going to be like this. Five, just like that. That's your fifth count. The sixth count is normal. The seventh count is another bottom 
Now when you pull the fifth and the seventh card out, you don't want to flash the black card. So when you pull it out, this card is already, see there's a little bit of flash right there. You're going to make sure that's just right. You're going to flip it like this before it even flashes. And that is the move. So you push over. As you grab, looks like you're grabbing the eight, but you're pulling out and at the same time you're pulling back like this and turning. Now this has to turn quick enough so you don't see it. And then the eighth and the ninth card. Now when you come to your ninth card, you're not going to place it on top. You're going to use the ninth card. We're going to use this card to scoop up all these cards and put your hand right there so hold these middle cards in place. And you'll understand why we made that square in the beginning. So you go like this, hold these, grab the whole mess, turn it over. All you're going to see is red cards because since you made that square, those black cards are hidden in there like that. So you start off, you count out the black cards. I'll do it in slow motion and hopefully I won't flash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Turn it over, square them up, put the top card as the leader. Then you do the same thing with the red cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Turn it over, square them up, flip it, turn that as the leader card. Now you're ready to go. It's, it's automatic up from this point up until the last four cards. This is from the point of view of the magician. It's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Turn it over, square it up, put one as the leader. Now when you do this, speed counts. You don't want to go too slow. I'm doing it slow so you can see what's going on, but you want to go basically at a brisk pace. I'm going to go slow, but you want to work on your speed. And all you need to do is get before you work on the routine, just grab seven black cards and two reds and just work on this count over and over and over and over. Work in front of a mirror or a camera where you can monitor yourself so it, you see what it looks like from the spectator's point of view. And also this finger right here needs to be a little tacky. So you can wet it and then rub it like this right prior to the trick and it'll make that finger grip those cards really good. So. Slow motion, it's like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Square them up and put one as the leader. Now when you get to this point, all you have to do is follow the routine and follow the sequence. You switch the leader cards. You turn these top cards over simultaneously and they should match. You switch these again. You turn over. Everything should line up. Show this pile, the bottom card is the black pile, and this is the red pile. Switch those, and they should line up. You switch these again here, and you turn over. Now at this point, this is when you the routine you're, you're saying you can do it face up. You pull off the same pile again, face up. You grab these, and you put them, or you can do it face down. Now you switch these piles, and you say, and you switch them. You see what I did? I didn't do anything, really because they were already matched. You put them here and you switched. It's it just for the normal layman person, they get fooled. And then when you have these last four cards, this is where you have to do another move. You mix them. I'll show you this from the back side as well. You're going to interlace these like this. So the second card down is a red card and you mix them and you put them together. Now this move, I already showed this on the last video, the three travelers. So if you've learned that move already, it's easy from here for you. Uh, you're going to do a double lift from a packet of four cards. We're going to do Marlowe's diminishing lift sequence where you hold the packet here and smear three cards over, put a lot of pressure here. So you've pushed over three cards and retained a single card there. So push it over a little bit. Once it's over a little bit, get this finger in on the bottom card of these three and put this finger on the corner here and pull again. And you're going to have a double card here. Come around, follow it around. It's jammed. It's kind of hard to do slow motion. It's jammed into your palm here. And you come around and you turn it and flip it. And then you place it here. And actually, you're just putting a black card. And now you're down to three cards. You're doing a double lift here. These are the cards I have. 
doing a double lift, turning it around. And if you have a problem with these separating at this point, come around like this. And instead of holding it like that, if they're separating on you, you can get these two fingers and just hold that corner, come like this and bend it. You're just going to show a black card and flip it. And then you single lift and put your red card down. This is from the point of view of the magician. Take the last four cards and you're going to interlace them together like this. So you have the red card second from the top. Square them up. You're going to do Marlowe's diminishing lift sequence. Slide three cards over. Put your finger there. Slide again and bring them around. Like I said, if they separate on you, you can, you can come around like this and bend it. So try it like this. Show, flip it over, and you're placing the black card down. Same thing, make sure you're square. Come around like this, show the black card, flip it, and you're placing a red card down. And then come over here and flip them. Now when you get to this last move, this is, this is one, of the, one of the coolest moves ever, invented by Ed Marlowe, it's called Buffaloed. And what you do is you basically lie. It's an ingenious concept. You just, you just call it out. You call a red card and a black card, you turn them over, you call the same thing a red card and a black card. And that is how you do that.